So at the end of that last one, um, you probably should see something like this because we didn't actually set up our static files. And when you run Heroku push uh, master, when you run this right here, the um, Heroku itself interprets that you're using Django and therefore it interprets that it should run collect static. Now we are gonna disable collect static as it suggests us to by just pressing that. So I'm just copying literally what they said. And I can re-enable collect static by doing a zero and that will enable it, okay? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it off with the one and I'm gonna now run that push again. So git push Heroku master. And this is gonna be pushing our actual static files into, or excuse me, pushing our entire Django project into Roku and getting our app actually working. I'll pause it as it's running and then we'll come back and uh, talk some more. All right, so this time around, it actually deployed it just fine. Um, that was done on purpose because I wanted to show you guys how this collect static stuff works when it comes to Roku. But now let's go ahead and check out our app here. And if I paste it in, boom, not found. This is what is expected because our Heroku app um, doesn't have any URLs or anything really set up yet, um, which is something we still need to do, of course, but I wanted to launch this on Heroku as quickly as possible. But now we need to run some Hero uh, Django related commands. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Heroku run bash. So running the bash allows me to treat um, Heroku like as if it was local. So I'm actually logging into the servers on Heroku and now I've got the same sort of command line that I have on my Mac computer here. So if I list everything out, I can actually see all of the things that I pushed onto Heroku. Notice my database is there. So I can actually run Python, I can run Python uh, commands here. So Python manage.py and I can run um, migrate so this is migrating, but it says there's nothing to migrate. So this is actually using the wrong database. It's actually using a database um, that is not set up for our project. So that's something we are gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the Heroku bash. It's using the database on db.sqlite3 because in our production, that's what we still have. But we need to change that. We need to use the database that's actually related to our Heroku project. Now, if I scroll down here on this deployment, I've got this add-on that I can have for actually using a database. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and run Heroku add-ons create hobby dev. So notice that I have my Postgres SQL database. Database is empty, of course it's empty because we just created it. Um, now I need to update my actual production file or production.py to have the appropriate database. So we're just gonna do really simply import dg database dot URL, excuse me, dj underscore database URL, and then db from env equals to dg database URL dot config, and then databases. Actually, we wanna copy that here. Databases and default equals to or excuse me, not default, but update and db from env. This will actually handle our database stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back in here and do git status, git add enter, git commit, update production for db, and then git push Heroku master, and, and, or, and then we'll just do that. I'm gonna let that run for just a moment. Okay, so it launched, it went fine, and now I'll do Heroku run python manage.py make migrations. And uh, make migrations, we didn't actually need to do that, but notice I did Heroku run and then some command. This is similar to just going into the bash and then running that itself. Um, notice it says no changes detected. Okay, so now I'll just do migrate and then and and, so two ands there will allow me to chain commands together and then Heroku run Python manage.py, create super user, I'll press enter. And now we are to create our super user, which is now you want it to be um, definitely a good password here. So I'm actually not gonna tell you what the password is. Um, this is because we want a good password because we're going into production now. So I've created this password and the super user. So I can actually go into my Heroku app again. 
Um, notice it's still saying not found, but if I go into the admin, admin is there, static files are not working, uh, but if I type in my password that I created, I can actually jump in or I should be able to jump in to this project itself um, and now the admin is working. Okay, so there's a, still a couple more things that we wanna go about doing and that is what we'll cover in the next one. If you have any questions on what we did here as far as provisioning the database, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.